we continue computational intelligence course with lectures on fuzz systems. There is a conflict between linguistic and numerical representation. Notice that any language is discrete and real world is continuous. For example, there is no certain boundary to call a person as young. In this introduction, you will learn imprecision in languages and how fast systems can be used to handle this imprecision. Every day, humans use imprecise linguistic terms. For example, big, fast, about 12 o'clock, old, etc. All complex human actions are decisions based on such concepts. For example, driving and parking a car, financial business decisions, love and justice, giving a lecture, listening to the professor, tutor. So these terms and the way they are processed play crucial role. Computers need a mathematical model to express and process such complex semantics. Concepts in classical mathematics are inadequate for such models. Any notion is said to be imprecise when its meaning is not fixed by sharp boundaries. It can be applied fully to certain degree or not at all. Gradualness or membership gradients, also called fuzziness. Proposition is imprecise if it contains gradual predicates. Such propositions may be neither true nor false, but in between. They are true to a certain degree, that is partial truth. Forms of such degrees can be found in natural languages. For example, very, rather, almost not, etc. Sorties are a series of propositions whereby each conclusion is taken as the subject of the next. Consider the followings. The first proposition is saying that if a sand dune is small, add one grain of sand to it, leaves it small. The second one is a sand dune with a single grain is small. The conclusion is that, hence, all sand dune are small. Here the paradox comes from all or nothing treatment of small. Degree of truth of heap of sand is small decreases by adding one grain after another. Certain number of words refer to continuous numerical scales. How many grains of sand has a sand dune at least? Statement AN saying that n grains of sand are a sand dune. Let dn be the function t applied on an, statement an. This is denoting degree of acceptance for an. Then degree of acceptance for zero a zero is d zero, which is equal to zero, which is less than equal to d one, less than equal to goes in this manner, less than equal to d n, and this is less than equal to one. This can be seen as truth values of a many valued logic. Why is there imprecision in all languages? The reason is that any language is discrete and real world is continuous. There is a gap between discrete representation in the language and continuous perception, that is prevalence of ambiguity in languages. Consider the word young applied to humans. The more fine-grained the scale of age. For example, going from years to months, weeks, days, etc. The more difficult it is to fix the threshold. Below which, 
young fully applies and above which young does not at all. There is a conflict between linguistic and numerical representation. We have finite terms in the set representing ages, young, mature, old. However, the, the ages, in fact, real valued interval, for example, between zero and 140 years for humans. Is there a membership threshold for imprecisely defined classes? Consider the notion about a man without hair on his head is bad. A hairy man is not bad. Usually bad is only partly applicable. Where to set badness, non-badness threshold? Fuzzy set theory, in fact, does not assume any threshold. This has consequences for the logic behind fuzzy set theory. This is to be discussed in this course later. Fuzzy systems can be applied in control engineering, approximate reasoning, data analysis, image analysis, etc. It has advantages, use of imprecise or uncertain information, use of expert knowledge, robust nonlinear control, time to market, marketing aspects, etc. As proposed by Zaide in 1965, a fuzzy set is a class with a continuum of membership grades. Fuzzy set M is characterized by membership function mu of the fuzzy set M. Mu M associates real number in interval from 0 to 1 with each element x element of the reference set x. Value of membership of M at x represents grade of membership of X in M. Fuzzy set M is thus defined as mapping from the reference set X to the interval 0, 1 in terms of the membership value. So, mu M generalizes traditional characteristic function which is a function from the reference set X to the values either 0 or 1. Note, in crisp sets, X is either element of the set or not element of the set. If mu M at point U is 1, this reflects full membership in M, in the first set M. If membership of the set at point U is zero, this expresses absolute non-membership in M. Sets can be viewed as special case of fuzzy sets where only full membership and absolute non-membership are allowed. Such sets are called crisp sets or Boolean sets. However, membership degrees between 0 and 1 represent partial membership. Consider the set representing young in young person. Here we have a region or the age, which is between 0 and 20, the membership has value 1. And from 20 to 40, it has value between 1 and 0, decreasing from 1 to 0. And after that, after 40, the value is 0. Membership is 0. Consider again representation for predicate young. There is no precise threshold between prototypes of young and prototypes of 
not young. For the sets offer natural interface between linguistic and numerical representation. Again, consider the representation of young in a young person. And if we consider the age 32, this is the function for the membership of young. And 42, the value of the function is that one. This is the membership degree of 32 in the set young, which is some value less than 0 0.5, about 0 0.4 for this example. Now consider examples for fuzzy numbers. This is the membership function for exactly two. Here notice that at point two for x equal to two, it has a membership value one, and for all other values of x, the membership value is zero. However, for around two, the membership value at two is one, and around two, when we get further away from two, the value of the membership decreases gradually. Exact numerical value has membership degree of one. For this example, terms like around are modeled using triangular or Gaussian function as shown in the second example. Linguistic variables represent attributes in fuzzy systems. They are partitioned into linguistic values. These are not numerical. Partition is usually chosen subjectively based on the human intuition. All linguistic values have a meaning, not a precise numerical value. For example, consider linguistic variable living area of a flat a, store linguistic values, for example, tiny, small, medium, large, and huge. And, for example, tiny can be represented in the region between 0 and 15. Its value of the fuzzy set, membership value for the fuzzy set tiny is 1 from 0 to 10, and then it gradually decreases to 0 from 10 to 15. And if we consider small, it has value 1 between 15 and 25, and it increases from 0 to 1 when x is changing from 10 to 15, and it decreases from 1 to 0 when x is changing from 25 to 30. And similarly, medium, large, and huge can be defined. Every x element of A has a membership value in the interval 0, 1 to each value. For example, let the area be 42.5 square meters. And if you consider this area, it is here, it has a membership value 0 0.5 in the fuzzy set medium, and also the membership value in the fuzzy set large is again 0 0.5. And its membership value for this area, the membership value in tiny and small as the sets is zero. And also the membership value is zero for the as the set huge. So membership tiny A equal to membership small 
okay, this one. And also membership for huge at point A, A is 42.5, is equal to zero. However, the membership value for the sets medium and large, mu m and mu l, are equal to 0 